All right, folks, so we got the the grill going, man, and uh, we are on to the cooking portion of this, and we are going to get these steaks on. That bad boy on now. Now, with steaks, man, I always like to try to keep an eye on them. Stay close to the grill. You don't want no flare ups, as I've said numerous times before in other cooking videos. And because these steaks are gonna take the longest to cook, uh, this is what we're gonna start with and we'll bring the oysters and shrimp out and stuff like that. But I'm gonna stay here, keep guard on this, and then I'll flip right back over to y'all. So y'all can see what's popping here. Hey man, hot. All right, we're coming back. Back to them now. And we're gonna flip these fuckers. That nice, nice grill to them. Now, on this side here, we're not gonna leave them on that long. So I'm gonna stand here. We're gonna leave them on for about two minutes on this side. Just enough to get those grill marks. And them things should be coming out medium rare. Folks, these are some decent, decent size New York strips too. They're pretty thick. All right, folks, so it's about time to take these steaks off now. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start pulling them. And uh, we eat steak around here medium, except for my daughter. She likes her done. So what I'm gonna do is leave hers on and I'm gonna leave it over here or whatever, let it cook while I'm doing the oysters and the uh, shrimp. Um, And make sure anytime you're cooking food or anything like that, you always clean the surface. I mean, I understand it's on fire, so you should clean your surfaces though. Make sure you re-clean your pans, everything else after you bring the food in. Uh, all right, y'all, we'll get right back to y'all, man, when we put these oysters and shrimp on. All right, so now we got our shrimp, and we are gonna do some shrimp on the barbie. We're gonna put those on. And remember now, these shrimp don't take but a couple minutes per side. So we're gonna do the shrimp first. You're gonna cook them for about two minutes on each side. I'm gonna leave the grill open like this. And then uh, we're gonna start cooking them, making sure that we don't have no flare ups. And then we're gonna cover the grill. <laughs> Okay, so now I believe it's time to go ahead and flip this, these shrimp here. And uh, while I'm in here, I'm gonna check that steak as well. But, oh yeah, we started to get that color on them. As you can tell the difference, they starting to cook through. I'm gonna leave these on this side here for about three minutes. Let these boys cook on through. Close these back up, let them cook on through. Oh, actually, I need to check the steak. Yeah, it's still not done. It's still not done enough for her. All right, so I believe these, uh, these shrimp are done now. So I'll check them right quick to make sure. Oh, yeah. Them boys are done. All right, we're gonna pull these off and get them inside. But before we go, we are gonna check that steak and we are also gonna go ahead and throw these oysters on. All 
Uh, so we got these oysters here. We're just gonna take these, sit them all on top of here, like this. Sit these oysters all on top here. Let that uh, butter and the, the cheese and, and all that stuff uh, cook off. And then we'll put them shrimp in the house and uh, come back and check on this. I'm not positive on how long this is going to take. So uh, what I'm going to look for is just that stuff boiling and them oysters starting to look like they steamed up and stuff so uh hopefully we can get that on and popping now it said usually to steam an oyster which is inside not open is uh a couple minutes so i'd imagine these is going to be right at about that same timeline here and uh just so y'all know too i uh while shucking these oysters or whatever, there was a couple that was open. So if you don't know about oysters, that means the oyster is dead, which means I wouldn't eat that oyster. Uh, you know, that's completely on you to eat it. I wouldn't, though. 100% uh, would not eat that oyster. Um, I mean, the steak is pretty much done here done enough for her anyway so we're gonna go ahead and take that in the house as well and uh come back and check on these these uh oysters in a little while okay so as you can tell the uh butter is starting to cook off of those because uh we don't got some flame up the steak wasn't done enough for her she says so I brought it back out. Now we're just gonna sit here and watch these because I don't want them to burn off. But as you can tell, that stuff is starting to cook up right. We got that bubble. All right, so some of these are done. We're gonna move these around real quick and uh, let them other ones get right. Folks, I believe this is all done now, man. And uh, we can get an image of it bubbling up for y'all, man, as it is done. And remember, man, listen, no matter whether it's Valentine's Day or what it is, always tell your significant other that you love them. And uh, for you, babe, I love you. 18 years, I love you. All right, y'all, appreciate everybody checking out the video, man. Don't forget to uh, share, like, and subscribe, man.